Reporting Public API. This video shows how to use the Reporting Public API to retrieve your entire test execution content in JSON format. Two types of test execution data can be retrieved using the Public API. Number one, Execution Driver Report. Presents a list of all execution performed. This report includes links to all artifacts, video, screenshots, device logs, PCAP files, vitals, and PDF reports. Number two, single test command report. Presents the test commands of a particular test execution. The test commands are presented according to their execution order and includes the metadata for the test execution. On the first step, you will need to generate an offline token. In the middle cloud lab, MCM, click on the more button on the upper right corner. Then click on create security token. Enter your password, Copy the token and use it in your script. The second step would be to generate an access token. After retrieving the offline token, use HTTP client in your scripts to send a post request. Create HTTP post object with your continuous quality lab server URL and the given string in the, in the video. Add the parameter offline token and the token into your post request. Send the request and save the access token. The last step uses the access token in order to get execution list a selected time frame. Create a URI builder object with the reporting server URL and the given string parameter in the video. Add the parameters to your request, defining the start execution time. The value in Java should refer to the current time minus the days hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. Build a GET request using the URI builder. Add header to your request with a tenant ID and your SQL name. Add more header authorization, bearer, plus access token from the previous video. Send the request and parse the response.